Hello, Tasty Thursday viewers. Today on Aunt Liz TV, I will be making something called ice cream bread. It doesn't sound very good, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Um, first of all, you need a measuring cup. Uh, usually I use this for my hamster as a hat, but I'm going to borrow it for this recipe. So first, you start off with some flour. I happen to be using Southern Biscuit. I don't know anything about it, but we'll try it. You take one and a half cups. So we will open it up here. Be careful not to inhale the dust because it may be toxic. No, it shouldn't be toxic. It's rough. But don't inhale it anyway. It'll probably make you sneeze. All right, so we're going to let's uh, let's do this over here so we don't make a huge mess because I don't like cleaning up things. So we'll start off with one and a half cups of ew, finely granulated powder flour. AKA bread pudding ingredient number one. No, no, not bread pudding, ice cream pudding. No, no, not ice cream, ice cream bread. All right, we got one cup of flour in there. Then you take some of your favorite ice cream. This is chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, it is kind of melty. Uh, the very first thing to do is Make sure that this is good for eating. So you want to take a little bit of a scoop there. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to need two cups of this. So hmm, this is going to get kind of tricky because I only have one and a half cups of... Well, we can... Oh, maybe let's look here. It says half a cup is a serving size. Hmm. Servings per container is four. So four times a half is two cups. That's right. That's pretty good math on the fly. So uh, in this instance, we can just take this whole thing and put it in the mixture. So ingredient number two oh, goes in the mixer there. And And then, the fun part, we get to use machinery, so we put that down in there and lock it into place. We're going to mix this up and, uh, uh, let's see, why don't we, uh, before we do that, let's uh, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit not Celsius for all of our European friends. That's Fahrenheit, 350. Uh, we will, so we'll preheat the oven and then we'll come over here and, oh, it's preheated, good. And then we'll start the mixer. Now, I would love to crank this puppy up to 10, but I don't think we need to do that for this. We'll, we'll leave it on, whoa. We'll just turn it to two, which creates a good mess. And we will check that a little bit later. Okay, as you can see, uh, it's mixed up very uh, to a nice thick consistency. So we'll turn down the machinery, unlock it, and flip it up. And we'll uh, scrape some of the goodness off of the beater here. And for those of you that like to lick beaters, this is the mother load of beater licking. <laughs> um, not much to talk about. That's okay. Alright, so then we'll want to take a can of Pam. Kind of rhymes. And we'll spray our 
dish that we're going to put this lovely concoction into. And uh, honestly, I've never done this before. I'm not. I think it works as kind of like spray paint. So we'll just <laughs> spray paint it in there. That should be good. But when we try to get it out, I guess we'll know if we got enough. <laughs> It won't come out. All right, so then we just take our ooey gooey good mixture here and we will plop drop it into the dish and you want to grab a spatula. I forgot to mention that, but you can tell I'm not using my hands. So if you do not have a spatula, I guess you could use your hands, but please make sure that they are clean. Unless you plan on eating the whole pan yourself, and then it doesn't really matter, I guess. You can use your hands. So we'll uh, just get all this into the deal here. And um, yeah, that looks pretty good. It's a little bit left over there, but. Hmm. Set up that over there for someone else to clean up. Um, then we'll, uh, let's take this here and kind of level it around a little bit because we want it to be aesthetically pleasing to the consumer's eye. A little bit of vocabulary there for you, those of you that maybe didn't understand that fancy talk. That looks pretty good. Ooh. And of course, if you can't get it all off, just consume some of it. Now, we're going to stick this in the oven for 40 minutes. So we will put it just like that. We will set the timer for 40 minutes, uh, start the timer, and we will check it in 38 minutes. Hello, uh, it's been 38 minutes, so we're going to check our cake ice cream, or ice cream cake, or ice, ice cream bread, and whoa! That is a pretty impressive rise there. Now who would have thought that was actually ice cream? And some of you may not know, but we made a bread cake because one of our viewers has a very special 10th birthday coming up. And so this is in celebration of his big day. We will let this cool for a little bit because it will burn your tongue out of your mouth. So uh, after a little bit, we'll come back and we'll do a taste test. The final step, of course, is to taste test. And uh, so we grab your titanium spork and dig in to a delicious bite of bread ice cream. Tastes like chicken. <laughs>